Hi, and welcome to another video of Make My Seam. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make the mini one, the mini small chandelier. This is the small chandelier. There is a video on my YouTube channel um, where I'm going to, going to tell you where I'm telling you how to make this one. And that video will be used for the small one as well. I'm going to tell you all about it in the video. Um, measurements uh, 8 centimeters wide and 15 centimeters approximately 15 centimeters long um, yeah it, it has a LED a balloon light in it um, I'm going to tell you all about the materials in the next clip so um, if you like the video uh, please give me that thumbs up um, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, enjoy it um, the most important thing is that you enjoy it and you can create lovely items for yourself. Um, what you can do, um, you can use this for, for example, for Christmas. Here in the Netherlands, we do send Christmas cards to one another. Um, what you can do, um, you can put it down, all the way down, close it, and put it into an envelope and send it to someone. Um, they can unfold it and hang it up. Uh, put a little card on there. Um, they are excellent um, Christmas stocking gifts, uh, tuck-ins. Um, or, yeah. So, um, you can hang them uh, in Christmas colors um, during the year in your garden or whatever you like. Right, please uh, enjoy watching the video. Now, for the um, mini small chandelier, these are the material materials you're going to use. Um, the Maxi Scheepjes Maxi Sweet Treat. This is a 25 gram and 140 meter skein. Um, they do suggest to um, crochet this with a 1.25 to 1.5 millimeter crochet hook. It's a 100% mercerized cotton yarn and I work with color 385. Now, if you do not have this in your local area, um, this is a lace weight yarn. Then a um, balloon LED um, a light um, in the uh, tutorial of the um, small chandelier I used a waxine light an LED waxine light but that won't fit into the small one so I tried to find another uh, light that we could put in there so and this is what I came up with then uh, two rings one with 4.8 centimeters and one in 8 centimeters, both metal rings. Um, I'm going to try to find the measurements in inches and I'm going to put that across the screen for you guys. Then um, a 1.75 um, millimeter crochet hook. This is one from Clover. This has a, a protection cap because um, this is like super small. Um, if you're not familiar with the 1.75 measurement, it says number zero here, zero. And then a pair of scissors. I'm using the foldable. A rainbow of folding scissors from Nitpro, the Mindful Collection. Lovely pair of scissors. Um, so yeah, um, I'm forgetting to um, tell you something else. I'm going to use these two as well. Um, stitch markers. Um, one I'm going to use to work or to use in my pattern. Um, and the other one I'm going to use to attach the LED balloon LED light to um, my mini small chandelier. 
so yeah that's all I'm going to use um, I'll see you guys in the next clip alright so um, this is the one I already prepared um, I need to tell you something guys so uh, I didn't want to have a, a empty screen so um, uh, and, and then I have something to hold on to as well but um, I, what I can do is do the whole video again with the small yarn. I think that the video that is already there is like um, the best way just to work with. There are just a few things that will be different. The pattern is completely the same except for a couple of things. When I mentioned in the video that you should use a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook, you should use the 1.75 millimeter crochet hook. When I mentioned in the video that you need to go for um, the sports weight yarn, I think I'm saying sports weight scheepjes katona, uh, you should go for a lace weight yarn scheepjes maxi sweet treat for example. When I tell you to go for a 15 centimeter ring, you should go for the 8 centimeter ring. And when I tell you to go for a 10 centimeter ring, you should go for the 4.8 centimeter ring. Okay? At the very, very end of the video, um, I can remember that I'm telling you something like, uh, this is the time to cut your yarn. Uh, leave a little bit of a uh, yarn tail so you can sew that in. Well, just before you're about to cut your yarn, come back to this video. Um, I will try to put a timestamp down below into the description box, uh, box of the video so you can go to the video as where I start to work with um, uh, the tutorial uh, when I'm starting with round number one um, and in that video I'll try to see if I can add something so you can come back to this video at that point haven't done that before in this way so hopefully it'll work out like I want to because um, at the very moment that you're about to cut your yarn, you need to come back to this video because um, you need a little bit of more yarn to attach your light, your LED balloon LED light, okay? Uh, and you need a little bit, little bit of more yarn for that. So I'm going to put this one aside because um, what I did, I already made it to this point. So this a beautiful little a ball of yarn turned into this and this is what I have left of the 25 grams of the 140 meters of yarn. So it is plenty. It is enough for the mini small chandelier. Um, what I did is um, I closed my round and then I left about approximately 20 to 25 centimeters of yarn and then I cut it and then I'm going to pull this through. Give it a good tuck and then you're going to um, sew in on this end a little bit of a few stitches on the inside and then you're going to attach the um, LED light. But as I'm filming in two languages, I need to go over to the other one now and I'll be back to show you in the next video how you should do that. Alright? See you in a bit. Alright, I'm going to show you a little trick um, on how to um, know where to hang your light. Turn it on. Get your stitch marker. Place your stitch marker through the hole right there and close it. Leave it, uh, put it aside for just a second, then grab your yarn tail, your um, tapestry, your darning needle, tapestry needle, or whatever you're going to use. Then get your lights and the needle through 
your um, large, put it inside there. My darning needle is actually too big for my thread, so it keeps on sliding out. Now, the yarn that is attached to your um, mini small chandelier is just a few stitches from the string right there. See, it is attached right there. Just go across, go to the other side and go underneath a couple of stitches, three, four, five stitches should be enough. Then go underneath there. So that helps to um, decide where your um, where your light needs to go. Because you can leave this now, I put it on, uh, on the side. If you want your light, I'm going to turn off my light a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. There you go. See, if you push it down, your light will be mostly on this part of your lamp. If you pull it up, so if it comes a little bit closer to it here then you will have a light throughout the whole lamp it's just up to you what you want so um, I want this so um, it's just um, not that far far down as you can see can you see that there you go this is what I want now Get your darning needle again. Be sure it's still in the same spot. And then just sew it secure. Or secure it. Or sew it a couple of times so it is secured. I don't know. Just do that as you prefer. Be sure that it is tight. Okay, um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm struggling a bit to um, get it all in the camera. I cannot see it because it's a little bit far away from me. So. I hope it is clear what you should do and then I'm, uh, I will see you in the next clip and show you the result. Okay, now well this is what it looks like. I think they're awesome. Uh, this one is a slightly a little bit bigger than this one so I think that my tension was a little bit more loose when I did this one. Um, I measured them, this one is 15 centimeters and this one is 15.5 centimeters. So it's just, just a little bit. I think that the color does something as well um, on how they look. Um, yeah, I'm gonna show you once more what the difference is between the small chandelier, this one, and the mini small chandelier. As you can see, okay, that went very well now. As you can see, the small chandelier is a, a lot bigger than the mini small chandelier. This one is about 25 centimeters in length without this, so from here to here. But in um, over time, it 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 stretches a little. Uh, it is cotton, but still it it hangs and it stretches a little. So it, it will be a little bit bigger after a while. Um, this one is um, a couple of years. I made this one a couple of years ago, so it's been in my room quite some time. And then uh, this is the, the mini small one. So yeah. Um, 
so yeah I'm pretty pleased with how they look and um, I hope you like them too for now um, if you really love the video then please give me that thumbs up um, subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't su subscribed yet uh, this is just an extra idea what you can do with um, the same pattern with with other materials um, and that's for most of my videos if you use other materials the the item looks completely different so have a look around and see what else there is on my YouTube channel. Maybe you'll find something that you fall in love with when you use your own yarn or um, or an other hook size or whatever. I, um, I'm going to dare you to do that. <laughs> and I love to see all the items that you made. So if you... Um, if you made, made yours, uh, if you made one of my videos, or if you made this one, um, put it on Instagram and tag me so I can see it or uh, become a member of our Facebook group made by Seam Headquarters. The main language in our group is Dutch, but luckily um, Facebook does the translation for you guys and for me as well. So uh, you, can, you will be able to follow along. So yeah. Um, I'm happy. Uh, please do not forget. Blah. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're going to have a look around, if you're going to make one, or if you're going to do something else, then please do not forget to enjoy. Bye for now.